Should be used on the Galileo telescope as seen here. I'm going to go over some of the details of it. Uh, try to see if I can actually view something using the camera and uh, maybe give an idea if this is maybe the right telescope for you. One of the things to notice about the uh, Galileo te telescope is it actually has two viewfinders. One for a higher magnification uh, um, and a little bit lower light and one for higher light uh, absorption but not quite the same magnification. Um, the lower magnification actually makes it quite a bit easier to see uh, and target you know the moon or stars or whatever you want to look at where the higher magnification will give you more greater detail so that's one thing uh, for an inexpensive telescope it does come with two, uh, two lenses. Next we've got the tripod as you can see right here it's uh, probably about four and a half feet tall you've got two different types of adjustments you've got the uh, lateral adjustment and then of course you can move it up and down um, one of the things that you can see is that it, it's I'll tighten it and it will make it a little bit better but um, it's not the easiest thing to adjust and to uh, be able to follow the moon so um, from that standpoint the tripod on this thing is is so so at best so it's a uh, it's more of a hindrance but it's definitely a necessary evil so it's one thing to, to note about the telescope okay next how does this thing work so we'll look down into the telescope and you can see a little mirror there you'll see the camera reflect so that's the mirror that accumulates the uh, the image it bounces off another mirror which will actually um, deflect the image to the finder so this is a uh, um, that's how the telescope actually works. So, you, you point the telescope towards your object. You've got your viewfinder here um, that works. Uh, not really tried it too much yet, but it's uh, the viewfinder that we have with it. You point it, you open it up, and uh, off you go. So, next, I'm going to try to actually demonstrate, hopefully, uh, a vintage of the moon at night, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's the moon. At the highest magnification of the telescope, um, I would. I'm sorry it's so uh, bouncy, but the, the, it's very difficult to a hold the camera and b uh, the tripod. Really, it's difficult to to maintain focus. So uh, this is what you can expect from the telescope on the highest magnification. One note about this is it took me about 10 minutes to find the moon, which uh, is much longer than you would hope that it would take to find the moon in a telescope. So uh, there you have it. The Galileo telescope, I'm going to give it three stars, probably three and a half, really. Uh, it's, a, it's a decent telescope for magnification. The problem is this base is very difficult to aim. You've got some different mechanisms on here to to tighten it up, but um, to be truthful, it, it really doesn't work very well, and it takes you forever to find anything in the sky. It's difficult to find the moon for me, so I can't imagine uh, uh, the patience that it require to find uh, actual planet. So three stars.